But as I was saying, people, like, I think everybody wanted to be rich at one point in time. Like, when you're young, you see these people with all this flashy stuff. They got all these different toys and different things. And you're like, man, I just want that. It goes back to covetous practices. Wanting what somebody else has. And you know, wanting what somebody else has not, don't extend further than the material realm. It, it extends to physical, as far as human beings. People want other people, wives, children, homes. You know, he said, don't cover nothing in your neighbor's house. Basically, what God's trying to tell you is, don't try to be like other people. They don't want what other people have. Because he got something for you that's probably different from what they got. You never know what people go through to get what they got. And they might have a, a nice house, but they probably never there. Probably working 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Don't even get to enjoy the house. It's just good to look at with your eyes. I don't think people realize what comes with all more and more. The bigger the house, now you got a bigger power bill. You understand? The bigger the pool, now you got to clean the pool. You got to think about all this stuff that you want, that you can get. And the thing is, you can get it. But you'll find yourself working yourself to the bone to keep that status. That's why a lot of people, another, another reason why a lot of rich people kill themselves is when things start diminishing. You know, one thing about it, you'll realize something about Hollywood. When you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. And the thing is, Hollywood and jobs and corporations are always looking for the next best thing. Basically, we are expendable. You understand? In the job market. You understand? They replace us, replace you just like you ain't nothing. That's why God really wants us to help run our own business. But even if we run our own business, or he said, how long will you seek out the lease? And he wants you to own some things and not be so dependent on other people, but not to get big-headed with it either. You understand? That's where the problem comes into play. People get the big head. Look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. You understand? Again, every good and perfect gift comes from above. Seek heavenly things. Well, if you don't know what heavenly things are, read your Bible and find out what they are. You understand? You know, I don't like to talk about material things that much. I don't. You understand? I don't. I don't want to fall into that category. I mean, but I'm not telling you that God can't bless you financially. He will look out for you. You understand? But he don't want you to get so high up and forget about others also. You understand? He said it's better to look out for the needs of others than yourself. You understand? It's better to give than to receive. Think about it. You know, I watched this and I've been paying attention to Hollywood and like they go to these different Academy Awards and different award shows and stuff like that. They give them $50,000 gift baskets. You understand? When are they going to start just inviting some poor people in who can't afford a seat? You know, I would love to see that. Just to see some random people get picked and pulled up on the streets to go there. Not that it really matter, but it is just show something. Like, wow, we just ain't looking for each other. Those big, great parties to honor each other, to worship one another. You understand? Like, I don't believe in awards and stuff. All I know is it's like a bunch of idols. You're getting a statue every year to worship, to put on a mantle, to glorify yourself. And people are after it all the time. Sports is uh, orientated around it. The Olympics, they're chasing after that gold. Do you understand? And you got to think about it. Think about how many people have been in the Olympics and they are forgotten. That's it. You don't even remember them no more. I remember Michael Phelps won all those gold medals, but you don't even hear his name anymore. You understand? We chase after things that don't make sense. Honor, fame, power, glory. And then we are forgotten. You know, think about it. We are all going to pass away. Certain people may be fresh in your memory now, and then you forget about them. You understand? And sometimes riches lead to people indulging in things they are not. Take R. Kelly. Beautiful musical voice that he could have been using for God. He tried a few times, 
But the world always drew him back in. And his lust. You understand? Now he has nothing. He's in jail facing 30 years in federal prison. You understand? A lot of time to reflect. You understand that God, Lord, give it and the Lord take him away. You see, if you don't utilize your gifts and your abilities for him, he'll take them from you. And sometimes he'll let people just die in that sin. That's even worse, to die in a sin. You know, you remember R. Kelly beat the case years ago. Made a song about it and everything. Went right back to doing the same thing. You see, God is not mock people. He'll deliver you and save you from things, not for you to go back to him. Do you understand? Give you a second chance at life? I don't think y'all look at the fine print of what the rich go through. The elites. You understand? And y'all think it's it's fun. Think about these rappers and stuff, man. They can't even be at home all the time. They always on the road chasing after the dollar. But some of them like it. They love to be worshipped. You understand? They love to be seen. And it scares me because I want to make music. That's what I want to do. I actually want to make music. But I'm scared of it. I don't want to be idolized. I don't want to be worshipped. I don't. You understand? And that's what you fall victim to. You remember they said in the Bible, they said people came from year, from miles away to, to hear the, the wisdom of Sodom. <laughs> they, they almost, they basically worship Solomon. You want to see an idol? There you go. But be careful out there, people, man. Don't chase after riches. Don't do it. Chase after riches. <laughs> Holy spiritual riches. You understand? Make the money, but don't let the money make you. Have a blessed one.